Hey, let's talk center consoles. A first gen F body car. So I have to work on a 1968 Firebird. All new floor pans in the car. I want to mount this bad boy back to the floor of the car. How do you do that? Because you don't have the holes no more. Don't got no template. So where does this thing go in the space relationship? I'm going to show you the quick, easy way to do it and how I reattach these. And it works great every single time. And you don't need to worry about crazy measurements, geometry, and all that stuff that you learned in school you never used. You're still not gonna use it here, but I'm gonna show you the quick, easy way to put these things back in. Well, let's start with the essential tools. As you can see, no orange Mountain Dew because I am out again. So it's gonna be a little rough for me. So hang on, we'll see what we can do. Go need a step drill. I recommend using a step drill bit instead of a normal bit because you want a nice, clean, round drill bit hole to put these little thread certs in so they, like, so they cinch down tight once they're installed so they work like they're supposed to work. These are similar to what the factory used. I like to use those super easy. That's probably the most expensive thing you might have to buy is to put the tool to install these. But other than that, drill, hammer, I'm going to put this piece in. It's the front mount for the center console. That's step one. Once you get that located, of course, we got me a shifter here. This is 1968 floor shifter or something. We're going to put this back in the car, and you need a console. So if you have these components, one, two, three, and some hand tools, then you can actually do this same technique. Now, this is going to be the tool that's going to cost you a few bucks if you decide to buy it. Uh, here's your part number. Here's what it is. These are the nut cert installation kit. Uh, works great. I've used it many times. You guys have followed me on some of my other builds. You've seen me use this tool. So I've actually used it enough times to offset its expense. But I'm sure maybe you can rent it, borrow it from a friend, or you know, break down and buy it and resell it when you're done on eBay or Craigslist or you know, give us an next firewood guy. But there's other ways to install those, but I'll show you how simple this tool makes this task. Um, but first things first, I'll move this center console out of the way. Now, you do have to locate the shifter hole, and I recommend cutting that out prior to 68 factory. They just use a torch. Uh, I didn't do it this time around because I think this looks cleaner cutting it out. But this crossbar is gonna be step one. Now on 67, it actually mounts somewhere about midway between these ribs, 68 and 69, bam, drops right in the center. So basically, line up, there's your first groove, second groove in the floor pan, and you basically center this, just drop that thing into place. Now you put your nuts on the backside. This is gonna be our starting point for adjusting and making all the points for the center console. We're gonna use the console basically as a template for where we put our holes at. So first things first, I've got the hardware that goes on the back side of that. So I'll go ahead and install that on the bottom side here, and then we'll get the console put into place. All right, let's start here at the beginning. Go ahead and lay your console into place. There's screws that here it mounts in the front. Go ahead and start those in and run them all the way in. And then basically, how does the console look? Is it nice and centered to the transmission tunnel here does it look good you got a little bit of fudge room back and forth but like i said you just kind of get it nice and centered to the transmission tunnel and that's as simple as using this for your template so you have a bolt here it's supposed to be nice and centered in the bottom of the glove box but mine's all ripped out and trash so i'm gonna sight right here square dead center and there's also another one back here in the back same thing i'm just gonna mark it these are gonna be my two mounting ears for the the center console. So I'll go ahead and drill those two holes out, install those thread certs, and then we'll go ahead and locate the shifter next. All right, here's that looks up all nice and close. Now, like I said, my console is actually blown apart there. I've got a way to fix that, but that's, like I like to say, a video for another day. And here's the rear, same thing. It's kind of broken apart, but this is where I like it nice and centered. So now I've got my floor marked. I want to punch the holes. So I'll go ahead and drill the holes here, and we'll get those thread certs installed. Now I've got the console pulled out of the way, so it makes a little room to get the drill in, but go ahead and use the step drill. I'm going to buzz right through this, hopefully. Yeah, okay, now i got a nice, clean, half-inch hole. I'll do the same thing for back here. The next part, just take these little thread inserts, line it up. Should be a snug fit. There go. Now we install the tool here. <laughs> Simple as like a pop rivet.
same. Now we have those located in place, go ahead and lay the shifter in the approximate location where it's going to be when it's all said and done. And then we'll use the center console. It'll actually fit over this rectangle here. And that's how we're going to know where to put the shifter at. So it's going to have to pop up through this opening here. Same thing. Go ahead and start your screws into here to make sure it's where you want it to be. Kind of show you what we got going on. So just go ahead and get the screw started. It's like a nice alignment pin. Did both of them that way. Now just imagine I actually had a center console that wasn't ripped out the whole same thing. Get the bolt started. Get the bolt started. I'm nice and centered in the spots. Now, like I said, the shifter has to kind of poke up through this hole. And it is. So I'm going to tell you right now, this is where I want the shifter to be. It has a little bit of a wiggle movement, but the holes that mount it, see that thing's slotted. So we have a little fudge room anyway. So the biggest thing is setting it forward and backwards and getting it close side to side. So now, if I had those bolts in, take them back out, I'll go ahead and pop these screws out and being very cautious not to move the shifter. Because that's going to be, again, our template where to put the one, two, three holes. So I'll get that console pulled out of the way. Okay, now with the console pulled out of the way, like I said, this is our template. Go ahead and just mark the holes. And we'll hit this one down in here. I'll go ahead and highlight the whole thing. I'll basically punch that right about in the center because now I got my template done. Check this out. Bam. Need to drill my same half inch hole. One, two, and three. All right, we'll do it this one here first. So there you have it. Holes all set into place. Very similar fastener style of the factory used from the bottom side. Looks spot on. Top's a little smaller washer on these, but I think you can get bigger. Uh, these seem to work pretty good. About a kit of like 40 of them. Still trying to use them all up, but you get the idea. Check this out. All factory fasteners. So it is a simple now. You already didn't tell this thing for the last time. Line this guy right up here. Check that out. Actually, I even got the bolts right here. You start them all into place. Couple, two, three turns. I can drop that console on. Everything is going to line up. And I didn't have a whole lot of time invested in trying to figure out a template or a jig or whatever to make it all work. But you know, actually, here, I'll go ahead and even throw the console on. Should all line up pretty good here. Of course, it makes it not really easy with one hand here. Okay. But you get the idea. Now, this pokes right through the console where it's supposed to go. You can put that bolt in. And you got a little bit of side to side adjustment as needed to really dial that console and make it look really sharp but anyway nonetheless you see how it goes now i'll have to do a video on fixing this console i'll do that separately i'm going to try to restore this original one they do make beautiful repops now i've heard a lot of good news about how well they fit and how i guess good they look but this one's not in bad shape the chrome isn't broken on either side i'm going to have to repaint the sides of it touch up the maybe polish on this here a little bit and i got to find the shifter bezel but 
the goal today was get the console where it could be mounted in and you don't have to have a buddy hold the bolts on the bottom side and a nut and try to get this thing all together this is just like factory and basically a matter of minutes no special template we got this thing knocked out so there you have it that's the easy way to basically put a center console back in these first gen f bodies i've done some videos in the past but i just wanted to touch the subject again because i think this is really just something you could do at home super easy and no special template or asking your buddy where the hell does that go or use the old geometry you may have learned in school and forgot all about it because this console the floor contour trying to draw up a template someone give you measurements and drop those holes in you don't have a whole lot of fud room this way i know it works because these are the components that i'm going to use when it's done so nonetheless hope you found that tip helpful useful or and you're gonna say john maybe that's not how you're supposed to do it but i like to say this i'm gonna say it 100 times over because i really like it the right way the wrong way and the vvg way so love it or hate it that's how we do it it works just wanted to show you the tip the technique still got plenty to do on the old great pumpkin here as you can see it's very naked on the inside if you haven't watched all the videos from the very beginning well you should probably start here and start from the very beginning because we had a whole lot of work to this car and we got quite a bit more to do proving to you that it can be done in a two-car garage so nonetheless i'll grab the camera next time go around whatever we decide to jump into hope you join us then of course hit the subscribe button share with your friends appreciate that just the same so nonetheless enough of this get on to the next part and uh, we'll see you then